Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to this Team of the Season Giuliano player review with me, Boy Fifa One HD. Before we get into this, if you could hammer the hell out that like button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, hit the subscribe button if you are new. And if you have any questions on Team of the Season Giuliano or FIFA 17 in general, ask away in the comments below. I'll be happy to answer every single one of you. So, jumping into his stats, and as you can see, there are a lot of healthy green. Uh, colors going on here. His attack positioning is so so good. His vision, his acceleration and sprint speed are absolutely on point. And he's also got that really tidy strength there at A6, which I absolutely love. Then we move on to his skill attributes, and you see the ball control and dribbling are really really high. So hard to get the ball off him because he just keeps it to his feet so close. It is like it's stuck on with glue. He also has really good long shot shot power. He's finishing there at 93 is absolutely ridiculous heading not brilliant but let's face it this guy is all about shooting and using the ball with his feet we move over we see medium medium work rates which is a little bit of a shame would be nice if it was maybe high medium but not too bad there at all three star weak foot again could be better but not terrible and five star skill moves which is always very very good indeed and then we see an absolute ton of specialities no traits but he does come with the dribbler Playmaker, distant shooter, crosser, acrobat, clinical finisher and complete midfielder specialities. So let's get into the main block of the review. So my thoughts on Team of the Season, Juliano, were that he was an absolute beast. I mean, there is so much going for this card, it's unreal. His pace is electric, 90 pace overall is ridiculous and he is very, very good no matter whether you play him at central midfield all the way through to striker. He is lightning quick and very, very good for that position. Really good pace, able to move across the pitch with absolute ease and he feels fast as well, very, very quick. Always getting in behind, which is really good and that adds to his attack positioning, giving him the pace and the positioning, the know-how to make those fantastic runs and whether you've got good midfielders or not, if you're playing him in a more advanced role or not, he will be found by his teammates time and time and again, always makes great runs and when he does get in front of goal, he is ridiculously clinical. When it comes to scoring goals, this guy will hammer them home time and time again and it just seems so effortless. At times it seemed like the defence just parted wide open for him and he found so much space that for other players just doesn't seem to be there and then when you do get that space and you get the ball delivered into him, his finishing is ridiculously good and he is able to score time and time again as he did for me. Both good goals, scuffy goals, it doesn't matter. This guy is scoring all sorts and he will put the ball, most importantly, in the back of the net for you which will win you game after game after game because he is so clinical with his finishing. Like I said, he can score the scuffy ones, he'll score some great ones where he hits it from distance or he just beats the whole team because his pace is really good and as is his dribbling and he also has five star skill moves which is really really nice so whether you're a skiller or not it doesn't really matter this guy is very easy to beat people because that space does seem to open up for him weirdly you know that does seem to happen a little bit but also no matter whether you've got players around him or not he is able to go past people very very easily and uh, you don't really have to work for it that much in all honesty which is always a really really good thing his passing is very very good and playing him at striker you did notice that at times he would drop a little bit deeper into that sort of false nine sort of position and playing the players I had at right and left forward they were getting in behind and he was able to actually play some real killer balls in so even though I didn't play him at cam I did see the benefit of that unbelievable passing and he was good very very good so if you do use him get him on your free kicks get him on your corners he will not disappoint and he will play some very very good balls into those players so overall for me while he is super, super rare and super expensive because of that, I do believe his price will fall. I think you're looking more around sort of 250 because he is a ridiculous player and he has got that unbelievable nation whereby it is so easy to link him into teams because there's tons of good Brazilian cards absolutely everywhere scattered throughout the league. So he is going to be expensive. But between 250 and 300, I do think you're getting a ridiculous card. And if you play him at striker, my God, will he not disappoint. So please let me know if you guys are thinking about using him. If you have any questions at all, ask away in the comments below. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys. If you did, please hit that like button, hit the subscribe, and peace.